So hello everyone, it's your girl Jeff Beauty 87 here and I have found a way to make sure I can see in the camera to see when the phone ends. So I'm sitting up the way I'm sitting up because there's a mirror like directly behind where the camera is so I can see when like I cut off and everything so I can know to calm down on the talking because it goes blank on the back since I don't have a monitor like everyone else does. I have to do it like this. Anyway, um this is the original room I started filming in like years ago. Well not years ago, it's only been two, like my first year on YouTube. We're going to, I should probably tell you what we're doing, right? Let me get my whole life in order. We're going to do a, um, a mini chopping block and a, like declutter video for all my eyeshadow palettes. So I went through and had gotten rid of a few eyeshadow palettes at my grandmother's house. And I told y'all I'd do the same thing here. So this is basically kind of like a part two situation, if you will. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the mini chopping block ones because it's very few of those compared to like some of the other ones that um are coming up. And... I guess I should start off with this one. So, um, this isn't a mini declutter. This is something I am going to declutter. But since they came out with the new peanut butter and jelly one or the Let's Jam or whatever it's called or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. But I'm going to hold on to it for us to compare to that one when I do get it. And then, um, we'll get rid of this after that. So, I'm just holding on to this for now. And then it'll declutter once we see what the new one is like compared to this one right here. Even though this one's kind of old, so I mean, I don't expect the formula to perform the same. But I just want to have it like swatch it in color purposes. Now, let's get into the mini declutter. So, I know I just got this one recently. This is the um, Caliente palette from Artist Couture. Now, we know I don't like warm tones. I love the packaging of this. And I was excited about this Brillo shade. But it kind of disappointed me. Like, the shimmers in it kind of disappointed me. The mattes are fine. Like, the oranges and the brown. And the, um, I think the yellow's okay. I don't think I've tried it yet I'm not sure but like all the mattes in here work pretty well it's just the um what do you call it um the shimmer that I was most excited about Brillo it's the one I was kind of disappointed in it's one of those you have to wait and then it still doesn't give you that much opacity to me it's more of a layering shade when they become shades that are like toppers it means I have to layer underneath something in order to get the color I want so that's why I was kind of disappointed in this one it's not the quality it's just more of the color story and since we all know I'm not a warm tone girl it's just not it's not what it is um yeah, the next one I have is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Icon palette. So, this is on the chopping block because if you all remember correctly, I told you I don't like this palette. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I just don't like it. Um, I think it's the formulas and the, and the fact that there's like no actual matte shades. Like, these are like, these mainly seem like satin, satin shades and metallic-y like shades. And y'all know I don't go for that at all. I don't like that. It's not a vibe for me, so I'm just kind of like, hmm... Yeah, no. So this is on the shopping block because it's one of the few Charlotte Tilbury palettes I own. I only own three. I have Pillow Talk. I have Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize, the holiday one from this year. And then I have this palette. So I liked this one. I put it with the little quad that um I have, the super blue quad. But otherwise, I don't really um use it or reach for it just because I'm not impressed with the way everyone else was impressed with it. So I have the Slazy Jordan Liberty Dark Room palette. I really like the color story of this one, but the only thing is it kind of reminds me of the Hood of Beauty color story. And obviously I feel like you all would rather see the Hood of Beauty one than see this lovely beauty right here. Because the form love is okay. It's just their shimmers are more like toppers, just like Hood of Shimmers are more like toppers. And I prefer an actual shimmer. So the fact that it's a topper is like kind of like a bulls kill situation. I'm sorry if you can hear my son and my mom in the living room, but as you all know, Asian Game Over is quite loud. So, you know, anyone who's a parent knows what's really going on up in here. He's 11 if he's loud. No, but um, I want to keep it because I like it. But at the same time, since I have the Hooded one, I feel like it's not necessarily necessary. Plus, it's a limited edition. And I think Hooded is permanent or something to that effect. I'm not sure. So, we'll see about that. I have the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, remember I told you all when I got this, I wasn't in a rush to get it because of the purples in it. So, I feel like a lot of the purples in here aren't necessarily true purples. And then they don't necessarily work well on my skin tone. For example, like, we know I'm not using this. To me, these shouldn't even be in here because it's not like they're going to darken up anything. I feel like this one and this one could be gone and it'll be fine. This one doesn't really do too much of anything. And then um, this is the only other matte. And I feel like none of these mattes are really helpful for anyone my skin tone. Like if you're a lighter skinned um, African American, it might work better for you. But I feel like this doesn't really do too much for me. And then I don't necessarily like the finishes of the shimmers in this palette. So that's why it's on the shopping block. I got it at an amazing deal. I got it 50% off. And I think they had like an extra 20% off in addition to the 50% off. So that's the only reason I ended up grabbing it. Because I got it like 70% off. But otherwise, I don't necessarily feel like it's worth what they're um, 
charging for it and the purples in it aren't like my personal favorite i have other purples i like better um the next one i feel like shouldn't come as any surprise either natasha denoto tropic palette if you all remember correctly i told you that i did not like this palette at all it took me forever to get it because i just felt like it wasn't gonna work out well for my skin tone i had heard like this robe was terrible this robe to me actually isn't as bad as everyone says it is but it's actually the um neutrals and stuff that didn't work out for me but i have remembered a lot of the people that i watch are necessarily my skin tone so when they said this palette was um this was the messed up bra i was like this is a bra i really care about so i didn't rush out to get it but at the same time like this sangria shade didn't show up for me this cocoa shade didn't show up for me and it's like i shouldn't have to use a super like white base in order to get normal colors like this to show up on my skin tone and the fact that i used it with my um i think it was primer potion or the hourglass veil primer and they these colors hardly showed up and they faded away quickly if you all remember my natasha denona ranking video i told you i had this palette on and you saw how horrible it looked on me and it wasn't like I blended the shadows way to oblivion. It took forever to build them up. And then when I did blend them out, they just didn't do anything for me. So I don't recommend this if you're my skin tone. I know DIY Panty wants it. So I'm thinking about getting it for her for Christmas. Because the um, Milan palette she wants from ColourPop is still out of stock. If it comes in stock by a certain time, I'll go ahead and get it for her. But if they don't, I'll get her one of those. Because I know she actually really wants to try the palette. The last palette I have on the shopping block is the Color Bomb from... Um, What's his name? Scott Barnes. So I've heard some things about Scott Barnes um, recently that I necessarily wasn't feeling. I'm not going to get into it just like Glam Girl Chelsea didn't get into it. But like I heard some stuff that I wasn't feeling. Aside from the fact that he's a Trump supporter, which I'm definitely not down with at all. But um, I didn't feel like the formula of this was great for the price he's charging. Like I think this is like $84 or something. And his new palette is enticing me too. But his new palette looks just like the Book of Magic from Beauty Bed that I can get for $9. So it's like I'm not getting that. I'm not impressed with the formula of this for $84. I think that's totally outrageous for this formula. I mean, the shimmers in it aren't that great. The mattes in here, the Viseart ones are better. I mean, I have, like, lower-end ones that are better. So it's just, like, I don't feel like this palette is worth what he's charging. And the fact that you're a Donald Trump supporter is like, yeah, no, I'm not with that at all. So this is most likely just going to go ahead and de declutter. Don't be surprised if it's already on my Macari page. But I was putting it on a chopping block to try it one more time and see how I feel about it. Because since I'm not going to buy anything else from the brand, I would like to have something from his brand to reference with my other high-end palettes just in case anyone's curious. So that one, if I do hold on to it, it'll be for purposes of just, like, reviews and stuff. As far as comparing, I wouldn't hold on to it just to have it because I'm not impressed with it at all. I mean, like, in the slightest bit. Let's finally get into the stuff that I'm actually going to declutter. And it's quite a bit. So, I'm trying to figure out, a w I guess I'll start with the affordable stuff. And then we'll work our way up to the bougie, expensive stuff. So, once upon a time, I bought a Morphe palette. And I've literally only owned one Morphe palette besides the Jaclyn Hill collections. I only buy their um, stuff when it comes to, like, collabs from, um... YouTubers I like, I don't just buy Morphe stuff because I'm never impressed and I've always felt like they were kind of a shady brand and it's like I haven't even been in makeup that long and it's like I've already heard, I had already heard a whole bunch of stories about them before I started so I was like I'm gonna just stay over here and y'all stay over there. They say these Colourpop people are better so I'm gonna just work with them so I guess I'll start off with the Morphe palette. I'm talking about I have the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. I remember she had just got, um, what do you call it? They had just, the, um, sold out of this the first time when i started watching youtube and started watching kathleen lights so i was like i hope they bring it back to stock because you know i want to try it out i like kathleen lights she seems fun and then um i went ahead and bought this palette now i like the color story of this palette i actually think it's pretty nice the formula was okay i like the way the rolls are set up again um we're not gonna get to the shade that i can't use that it's unnecessary to me but like um i thought the quality of it was okay but then you then you have to think i got this like almost three years ago when i first started like watching youtube and doing youtube or whatever three or four years ago so it's like is it really great now no i still like kathleen lights it's just i don't need to have this in my collection to remember her she has like 12 color pop ones that i like way better anyway so i just hold on to those next one i have is a color pop palette so you're gonna see a couple of color pop palettes there's not a whole lot i have the mar palette and i'm getting rid of this one because this is their original first you know all blue blue palette according to them even though it's only three blues in here and the rest of these shades of brown so how blue can it really be but you know i was new in makeup and i was like i just wanted some blue shadows because as we all know my favorite colors are what blues greens and purples so it had three blues in it and it still had like a whole bunch of neutral tones since i was still trying to learn how to blend and sometimes i feel like i'm still trying to learn how to blend i wanted to have the browns to like cover up if i screwed up so this was a nice palette for that but i have the blue moon palette i just ordered there on cloud blue palette 
as well so it's like i don't really need this in my collection anymore so i'll probably give it to my cousins or something just because it's super old and i wouldn't want to actually sell this to anybody but it's a good palette i just you know don't feel the need to hold on to it anymore the last one i have a lot of people like this so don't be mad but this is the sweet talk palette i just couldn't really get along with this and then as you can see the shade right here it's like hard panned or something. It has this weird film over it and I don't know what happened to it because it wasn't like I sprayed it or did anything to it. It's just one day I went up to try to use it and it had this weird hard pan situation. So I was like, okay, I don't want any other shades to do that to me. And since these aren't really colors I reach for that often, like peachy tones, you all know I like to do more mauve tones like what's on my eyes right now. So I didn't feel the need to hold on to this and then I just didn't. That's pretty much it. Um, I like the Super Shock Shadow in here. So I'm thinking about taking it out and putting it in my, um, what's that palette? the um the uh-huh honey palette because i don't like the glitter in there so i figure i can switch them out and then i can give this to my cousins too and then if they want to put another color pop shadow in there like they can take one of the browns out of the mar palette and put it in there or whatever i don't know but i'm gonna get rid of this as well and this is going to them just because i don't really like it i'll actually hold on to it till they put another super shock shadow in the palette and then that's when i decluttered it so this has been decluttered for a while i just haven't shown them on camera because it takes me a while I have to be in the mood to go through and declutter things in order to declutter them. So when I am in the mood to declutter a whole bunch, I just don't take the time to pull out the camera and do all that. I'll just kind of, you know, grab it and go. But next what I have is actually new. This is Extortion Palette from um, XX Revolution. I like this palette okay. It's just there's no mattes in it. It's all shimmer palette and it's like... I have a few all shimmer palettes already that I like, so I know I wasn't going to reach for this little bit quad. And, you know, it's supposed to be a quad because it's convenient for you to put on and go. To me, this isn't necessarily convenient to put on and go because it's like, I don't have any shades for the crease. I know I could put the bronze in the crease and then do this, but it's like, I don't have to go through all that. I want to be able to literally pick up the palette, do all the stuff for my eyes, and then go onto my face. Because when I don't do um, videos on camera for you all, I usually do my eyes. And I just don't see the purpose behind it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. It's not like the quality was bad of it. I thought the quality was fine. It was just more of, um, it's not convenient because there's no mats in here for you. So if I want to take this on a weekend getaway, if I want to take this just to, um, leave it at the office when I don't have enough time to do my eyeshadow but I got the chance to put on my base at home I could take this into bathroom work and do something but it's like I can't do anything with this because there's no mats in it so it's a bust for me the next one I have which is kind of sad to let go for me this is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette I had the original one and I actually hit pan on one of the brown shades in there for eyeshadow and then I ended up decluttering it and giving it to my grandmother once this one came out. So I went ahead and I like this one. I've had this one for a while but it's just more of I'm not, you know, using it, reaching for it because I have so many other Marvy Tone palettes I like better. Like I like the new nudes from Huda. I like the Divine Rose 1 and 2 from Pat McGrath. I'll use the Rose Decadence before I'll use this. Like, I have other mauve tone palettes I like better that I know I'll reach for. I have the, um, you know, Marvelous Mauve from Dose of Color. So, it's other things I know I can reach for, which is why I'm just not necessarily excited about this palette right here. So, we're going to go ahead and, you know, declutter her. But I still love Carly Bible. Plus, I have the new Carly Bible from um, ABH. And I have a mauve tone palette in my grandma's house that's there with it that I can use if I want mauve tones and then to incorporate the cool tones that she has in that palette. Because I like the cool tone colors in that palette, but as far as I'm concerned, it should be on the chopping block too. Because um, like Jackie came through with this amazing formula and then she came through with that and it was like, y'all should let Carly go first so that way Jackie's could have, you know, blew everybody out of the water. Because I feel bad for Carly because it's like since Jackie's won awards and did all this other stuff, it's like Carly's just on the side. Like, oh, okay. And then Norvina's came through and like... They were better than hers too. So it's like everybody's formula is better than yours. I really felt bad for her because I'm like, I heard a whole bunch of mixed reviews on it. And her palette went on sale before it's Jackie's too. So I was like, I like Carly, but like, I'm sorry. I'm not liking this formula. Uh, speaking of another formula, I didn't like the um, Emily Edit the Wants palette. Now, I like Emily Noel. I've watched her for years as well. I forgot how I ended up finding her. I think I found her through her Emily Awards or something like that. And Emily's actually here in Illinois like I am. So, um... Another reason I want to support because she has a shade in here called, what is it, Midwest? Because I'm a Midwestern girl myself. This one right here is called Midwest. But I saw there was an issue with this palette when it first came out because I was going to buy it when it was like 12 bucks or whatever. And then they had taken it off the shelf because of, I forgot what was going on. Something was going on with the um, shimmers in it. Then I finally um, got it after it went on sale for $12 again. And the best quality for Makeup Revolution is going to be those forever flawless palettes, the ones in the tin containers. I have the the um chilled one i have the ice one and i have a couple other ones y'all know i just got one the flamboyant one is um similar to the um 
Man, you made strawberry dreams palette. So it's like I have a lot of stuff that I feel like is way better than this for Makeup Revolution. So it's like I'd rather just use that stuff. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. It's not that I don't love Emily, because clearly I love Emily. That's why I bought it. It's just the formula was not up to par in my personal opinion. And they should have gave her the formula and the forever flawless ones, and then it would have been so much better. So let's get into some higher end things. Now I love those of colors, but when I go for monochromatic palettes, I usually just reach for my um, ColourPop ones to be perfectly honest. So although the formula of these is really nice, these are colors I just don't use that much, which is why I, you know, I'm getting rid of them. So this is Sassy Sienna's. If you all didn't know, I don't like the color orange. I hate the color orange. But, you know, that's just a whole um, another situation. I don't like orange, so I don't even know why I bought this. I think I just bought it because I was excited that it came out with new quads. So I like these darker, like, you know baritone orange i mean um burnt oranges that are for the fall but otherwise i would never reach for this and it's like since i have other palettes that have colors like this in them and have warm color stores i don't necessarily need to have a quad with just orange because let's be realistic i'm not going to reach for this because it's you know orange so the formula of this is amazing i definitely like the formula on it it's just because it's orange i know i'm not going to reach for it that often like i like neon pops for orange when i am using orange not like stuff like this I'm sorry if you hear my family, but again, you know, everyone actually lives in my house, so, you know, they, they're they quite loud and boisterous. <laughs> Next I have is the Blushing Berries palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now, I was actually thinking about putting this on a chopping block, but then again, I was like, I have plenty of reds and other warm tone palettes that I use, so I don't necessarily need this one. And, of course, Asian Game also comes in and not messes with the camera. Who was it trying to? Anyway, so, um... This is what it looks like. Um, Adrian Game Over thinks I should keep this one, but it's like mommy's not gonna use it, so I'm gonna be realistic. Yes, you should it. keep it. So I don't want it, and I'm getting rid of it. So Did yeah, you? she's getting rid of it to me. Thank you. Uh, no, give it. Let's get more one. The troubles of being a, a parent who has a YouTube channel, cause child and he just over here doing his house too much. I have I'm better to get rid of the um, Patrick Star and Mac palette. Again, I'm sorry about that. Just a whole hot mess. Anyway, so this is what the inside of it looks like. This is part of his summer collection. And I feel like for obvious reasons, you know why I'm not keeping this one. Like, I mean, the colors are okay, but realistically, this is the one I use the least. Like, I, when I go on vacation, I always take the spring collection. I feel like that is his best collection out of all of them. I kept the winter collection one just in case I need a quick pop of neutral to take with me because at least his has mattes and shimmers in it. Like I told y'all, the Makeup Revolution, sorry, the XX Revolution one is going because it doesn't have mattes and shimmers. At least it has mattes and shimmers, but it has one matte that we all know I'm not going to use, which is another reason I don't want it because it's like, so if this is all the matte that I have to work with because I'm not using this, we know I'm not using this, and then like I only have these two shimmers. So it's like I feel like I don't really have an inner corner shimmer. I'd always have to do the inner corner as red and then i have to use brown and this brown and i wouldn't have too many options as far as eye looks go and it's like you know i'm not a brown girl so i don't well you know i'm not into brown tones so obviously i am a brown girl but <laughs> yeah so i just don't mm, i don't like it it's not the quality it's more of the color story than anything else we're getting down to the nitty gritty people um so i have this ua rose gold matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette now there's nothing wrong with the quality of this palette it's just realistically i'm not going to reach for it and it's just not anything special like it's a warm tone palette we all know i'm a cool tone girl so that alone is one of the reasons i don't like it i really like their shimmers but i still have my skinny dip palette and what i do is i usually put the skinny dip palette with the pretty cool palette from dose of colors and then that's how i make an eye look with both of those and i usually end up with like a smoky look and then i take the sparkly silver shade out of there or they have like this darker um shimmer and it's really nice for me to get a nice smoky eye so it's like i'd rather keep the skinny dip palette than this one so that's why i'm going ahead and get rid of this one so the quality of their shadows is really nice when they do come out with palettes it's just i rarely like the color stories they come out with like their color stories to me are usually just man you know so i have this holiday palette from urban decay and i'm like um uh male thompson i really don't want to let this go i love the color story of this let me open it up so you can see it but it's like realistically i have lots of shimmer palettes and when i reach for shimmer palettes it's usually like the viseart koi palette or it's like the decadence palette I don't usually reach for this. I think it's because of the packaging. Now, I, I will agree with Mel. The packaging on this looks really cool. But at the end of the day, it's like it makes it harder to store and harder to use. As you can see, this got nicked from when it just randomly popped out. Plus, this randomly pops out on its own, which I really don't like. If they had put it in a different format, I think I would most likely keep it. 
where if it's one that just folded over and um they didn't try to do all this extra thick and they were cool and unique when it just ends up popping out and annoying me then i probably would have kept it but the fact that it does all that is my issue with it so that's why it is being the cluttered okay but like i said we're down to nitty gritty so i'm gonna save the best for last i have the um urban decay naked smoky palette now this is like the only original smoky palette i mean original naked palette that i like before they started coming out with the new formulas of the new ones i really like this color whiskey right here i'm hoping they have it in a single because that was one of the reasons i held on to this palette in addition to some of the other shades i think it's a gorgeous palette though and i'm letting it get hope because i have some of the other smoky tones so my battery about to die y'all see it winking in the camera so um let me go to these other ones real quick y'all saw in the video on ig why i'm getting rid of this the blue and the green are terrible and since we all know those are some of my favorite shades i didn't want to keep it and hold on to it i wanted to do a look with the blue and the purple but after it played me so bogus in that video i was just like yeah no i have the um pretty vulgar nightingale one originally i was holding on to the smoke session one and i'm just gonna hold on to this in my grandmother's house but again i have other smoky tone palettes i like better so this needs to go like I said, I'm rushing through because I don't want the camera to die. I have this Kajua, um shadow thing. I don't like these. Um, the shimmery one is okay, but I feel like it's just really glittery. I feel like all of these were really glittery for the most part, and they just didn't do what I wanted them to do. They're kind of like a wash on the lid of glitter as opposed to like an opaque type shimmer, and we know that's what I like. And finally, and I feel horrible letting these go, but like the prism, it's time for it to go. I just bought that Lethal um cosmetics palette that karen harris just reviewed and angie reviewed as well so it's like i don't need this because the colors in it are similar plus you all can't get this anymore which is why i need to get rid of it and the norvina palette is just more of these shades don't necessarily work for people my skin tone so i mean the shimmers didn't work fine and it has a whole bunch of like neutrals or whatever but it's like she just came out with that big one and i'd rather get the big one so i can add it to my collection as far as doing my single shadow sunday videos so this one isn't really useful to me so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it so those are all the things i'm getting rid of so i hope you all enjoyed this video Remember you all in dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. The camera about to die. Bye. <laughs>